Good morning, party people. Welcome to the breakdown with Johnny and Nate. See, when we do things different, we say it backwards. It messes with your heads. Do you know what's weird with that though? Alphabetically, Johnny and Nate, like most things, do that. You do the A and then the B, or the J and then the N. But it actually sounds funny saying Johnny and Nate. Maybe it's because there's like two syllables in Johnny, Nate's one, so it's a single and a double. That makes sense. I also I figured like it out. It sounds like it says Nathan Johnny, as if it's one word. It's part of our email. Or like yeah. Yeah. Confusing. Yeah. Hey, we're checking out Coe and Cambria, the joke. I was going to make a joke about you being the joke, but then oh. you came in and I didn't. Okay. Have you got a joke for us? I'm not very good at remembering jokes. Me either. Some people have that skill of just being like, and a man walked into a bar and then the horse said, why is it a log face? Yeah. I just put like three jokes together just then. I'm going through that uh, existential crisis. Not existential crisis. I'm going through that moral dilemma, that moral parenting dilemma where Dustin is 11, turning 12, and he's in high school next year, and his friends are all on, you know, watching reels and TikTok and all that sort of stuff, and they're finding jokes, and, and he comes to us with dark humor jokes, and he's like, listen to what joke I heard, and he says it, and I'm like, Ugh, Do you have an example I... of that? Not on the channel. Th- okay, that bad. Oh, yeah. Fuck. You need to yeah. sort that out. Yeah. Well, no, it's not that. It's just people are sensitive and you don't want to make a joke. And this is my point to him. You don't want to say a joke where it could be overly offensive to someone. Sure. Like dark humor and things. Like things if that, not saying that this is what he's done, but things that touch on like suicide or, you know, race and things like that. You don't want people to say those jokes out loud around people because you don't want to upset anyone. I also, we are going on a tangent now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what we do? I don't like comedians. That That's their thing. Like, I don't like Chappelle anymore. I'm over it because I'm like, his whole thing now is just, I'm going to say the thing that's a fuckwit thing because I can do it because I'm a comedian. Get yeah. better jokes. Actually be funny again because you were very funny back in the day. Now yeah. your whole thing is, I say it because I shouldn't say it and I can say it because I can say it. And it's the same with Gervais. I think Ricky Gervais, I'm just, I'm bored of him. I think so many comedians that were fantastic got to the point now where they're like, I'm just going to be edgy because no one can stop me because I'm a comedian and I do my funny thing. I think, you know what? You don't need that to be funny. You were funnier before. Yeah. And that's how I feel. I get that. If they're over the top with it, then I'm just like, oh, you're, you're doing this to purely be a provocateur. Yeah. You're not trying to be a comedian. You're trying to be a provocateur. Yeah. That's Which is why I like too. silly, dumb comedians that are just silly and dumb. Yeah. We do like silly and dumb things. Hence us. You guys uh, clearly do as well. No, we love Coheed and Cambria. Their we last do. album was so good. It had Every album has been good. I know, but their last album was so good for me. It had some like real groovy 80s influences in it. Mm. it made me so happy. So I'm interested to see what we get with The Joke. 3, 2, 1. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's like a Joker themed thing too, maybe. Does the pain feel better than guitar? Holy fucking guitar tone. Bass lines are so funky. Yeah, bass play's going off. Travis's tone in that guitar yeah. sounds epic. It's huge. That's so unnerving and strange. And I love it. 
Oh yeah, okay. Just do that. It's a complex song. The bass player is just working his fucking ass off. We haven't really paused this at all. I've been it's, hella into it. Yeah, it's great. This band is great. Look, I know they might not be every cup, everyone's cup of tea. They might they not are... be every cup of tea that's ever existed either. <laughs> but they are great. Uh, I, I want to go back and listen to it again after this just to hear all the cool shit the drummer's doing. Yeah. They're all doing so much cool shit on their own. Yeah. It's just a festival of cool shit. <laughs> oh, glad I got tickets. <laughs> Oh! Why would you do that to the Joker? It was all a dream. Sleep tight, Mr. Vagina Brainhead. Oh, or oh, was it? Hot take. Already looks better than the new Joker film. Oh, snap. I haven't seen a trailer for the new Joker. Doesn't fucking interest me at all. Did you watch the last one? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. So why wasn't this one interesting? Uh, it just looks like they're making a, a musical. Actually? Essentially, yeah. It's just... Is it actually a musical? Uh, well, that's what they reckon. It's, it's going to be a lot of singing and stuff. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It's okay. just, I don't know, man. It's just killing the legacy of the joke for me. When I thought that it started really well, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. I'll probably watch it. Either way, either way, Cohen and Cambria are back with a great music video, a great song, super talented band. Yeah, that was sick. I really enjoyed that. One of the most interesting uh, bands of the last 20 years, if you ask me, my opinion. Not even one of my favourite bands, but I just find them really interesting. Their whole approach to music is really cool. Um, great pop sensibilities, great technicality. Uh, the whole story behind the band, uh, yeah. a, a band that goes that into detail with the story and the characters and the lore is really cool. Also, you know how a headless guitar means Freddy Boy? Yes. If you see a bass player and they're about to play a set and they're standing like this with the bass kind of high. Well, they know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. When yeah. you've got that hand, it's like that. It's like, I'm going to be doing the all hands. the things. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be walking, baby. And he was going, what would the... That, like, unnerving lead guitar bit through the chorus, so interesting. Like, that was... This is nothing like that at the moment. I haven't heard anything like that. Mm. That's cool. I love a band that has been around for so long, has been so consistently good, and then come out and just shock me that's yeah right. yeah reinvent themselves while staying like themselves yeah i like that what was the one bit about that song that i didn't enjoy nathan um are you a true friend you might not even remember the bit no nah, yeah that song there was so much going on there that i honestly like i need to go back again and probably listen to it and be like oh yeah i can see why johnny wouldn't like this but say it anyway they did the full like um Dermot arigato mr roboto um, voice the the auto tune auto -tune thing. Yeah, I was just like, oh, why'd you do that? I didn't need it. You got a great voice. He does, audio. but I I didn't mind that, and it didn't stand out to me in a bad way. So I think that's probably why I didn't notice it. Because I do notice when songs have it, I felt like it just added a, a different dynamic to his voice. It didn't cover his tone. It just added like a 
filter to it, which I didn't hate. Hey, uh, if you were to label them as a genre, what would you label them? Alt rock. Hmm. Yeah. Go on. What's your dumb thing you got here? <laughs> you do know me. I do. They'd be heavy metal, but heavy is spelled H A I R V Y. Heavy metal, because he's got big hair. He's always had big he's hair. He's always too. had the big hair. You don't want to call him hair metal? No, heavy metal. Hair yeah. metal makes more sense in that context. Nope. You nope. Forgot, forgot that's a genre, didn't you? Nope. <laughs> Thanks for watching. He said that as Let us know what you think. He has Claudio's that. always had, he's a man mountain. He's a mm -hmm. big dude. Yes. Buff, very handsome, rugged, with just the biggest hair. Mm. I've said it before, the first time I ever saw him, he was playing and he was doing like a solo thing and then he was screaming into the pickup of his guitar and it was oh, making yeah. echo noise. I was just like, it blew my little teenage mind. Johnny was 43 at the time. See you guys next time. <laughs> Peace.